Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? How come the chat isn't going? Oh. Oh? Wait, what? Wait. Usually right here, it's just Twitch chat. I'm so confused. One sec. One second. There appears to be a bug. How's it going, guys? Um, one sec. Thorn made a new video tripling down on the lane slope stuff. Oh my god. Delusional people. Um, give me one sec though. I'm trying to figure out why my um yeah, that Let me see. Wait. Uh, I think something weird happened with my chat widget. And I'm trying to figure out what happened to it. Tech support. Twitch chat. All right, let's see here. Streaming tools. On elements. Overlays. Weird. Chat. Chatting screen. Stream starting soon is different <clears throat> than just chatting. Chatting screen here. URL. Boom. What the fuck is going on? I'm like so confused. <clears throat> I didn't do anything differently from <clears throat> from yesterday. Wait, it literally even... I know you guys can't read yourselves again. It's It's literally right here though. I don't know why it's not showing. Um, oh well. I think it just is what it is, guys. It's not gonna be here today. It's just not gonna be here today, sadly. Wait, it's back. It's back. We fucking did it. We fucking did it, guys. Yesterday, what was my score, guys? 4-3 or 
or 4-4? Four, four? <clears throat> no, you guys know I, I realized yesterday I was like watching back a clip on my of my stream and I was like, why is my mic sound so quiet? Went to the settings. I was playing Valorant for the last week. And I guess like Valorant has, it's like one of those games that has the ability to change your mic volume in your, in your actual like system settings. And my mic was at eight volume out of a hundred. I don't know how no one told me yesterday that my mic sounded like I was like whispering the whole time. Oh, whoops. That's just how I talk. I'm just whispering. I thought I was just chilling. Thought I was just like fucking whispering into the mic permanently. React to Thorn video. I I googled it and it's an hour and a sixteen minute video. Uh, I'm I'm I think I'm good. I think I'm good. It's great schizo, bro. Thoughts on OJ Simpson? Dude, I like woke up this morning and checked my phone and that was like on the front page of Reddit. Yeah, I think um, when I clicked the comments on, on the main Reddit thread, somebody quoted the like, I think it was like a lawyer that was a part of the case. And it, the lawyer said something along the lines of like, I don't have anything to say about this because I don't care. And um, that's pretty much <clears throat> I think what 99% of people are feeling as well Shit, I have a mod in both chats. That's like dedication if you're actually patrolling both chats, Leon. Before he thanks to the Prime. Oh, 
beautiful baby. Come here, beautiful baby. Oh, okay, bye bye. So cool. I've been getting fucking owned by Rangar lately. I think I need to ban that champ. Okay, they blinded Draven. I used to think this matchup was really bad. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Some Holder versus Draven Giga Chad. Yo. Lulu. That's a weird fucking pick. Right, like with 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 Smolder, I don't know about Lulu. Mod uh, Butter Michael. Oh, okay. One sec. Uh, can block, manage words, and change chat modes. I think just. I don't even know what that fucking means. I didn't even know. I didn't know YouTube had chat modes. Oh, I'm so cold. Baby, can you give me a jacket? Thank you. I don't know why I'm so fucking cold. Ooh. Okay. Guess I'm going ghost. Ghosty Woasty. Wow, we have Mundo Scion solo lanes. I don't know why, but that just sounds so bad. Oh, thank you, dear. We're back on 100 Thieves. And it's a dodge. Do you think there's a skill gap between EOS and NA? Uh, let's see. 1.3 million registered uh, Soliki players on NA. 2.8 on EU. The Korea. 2.9, whoa. How about Brazil, actually? Kind of curious. Wow, Brazil's pretty much neck and neck with NA. About 20% less. Um, Sorry, I just wanted to check the player base because, I mean, generally, the bigger the player base, the more skilled, the... Just like a game of numbers, right? Like, within that, like... Within that giant pool of players, the 0.01% players play against each other and make each other better, and then that creates like the 0.001% of the players. Typically the pros. But, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually really know. Maybe I should have been Draven. You're the 100%, exactly. Well, we are. We all are a part of the 100%. I think. Uh, I think people say that EUS solo queue is better, but it's gotten kind of worse in the last few years. 
The last time I played EOS Solo Queue was 2019 on TL. We are bootcamping in Amsterdam, I think. Was it Amsterdam? I think it was some Amsterdam, and I played also literally on the servers in, uh, in Germany. But... I, I thought it was better in some ways. Like the, the mechanical skill of the players was better. The actual soul hue quality was strangely not better when I was there. And I think part of it is because like everyone's just trying to stream snipe like world's players and troll their games. So even though like the players are more skilled, there was like a crazy amount of typing and trolling and inting. Um, and like that happens everywhere, but it was really fucked in EU. I'm not gonna play Smolder Recon, fuck it. Zyrocon. Let's go. Zyrocon Enjoyer. I hope it's a uh, pro player, but I doubt it is because a lot of pro a lot of pro supports are I mean a lot of the pro teams are just on break right now. Santorin talked about this today. He said it's pretty much the same, just larger player base since it's EU. That makes sense. You need a wife? Don't got anything to help you there, buddy. And I'm like freezing in my own house. I don't know why. They are tanky. You know, four melees against Zaya doesn't sound like a good idea to me. That sounds like actually a recipe for disaster. One tricking is probably viable for any player of any role. Just one tricking in general is like totally fine. For solo queue. I mean, how many solo queue challengers or one tricks happens in every server as well? It's probably like, I don't know, I'd say like one and 10, maybe like between like one and 10, one and five. Like every single game, I'm thinking about like, what's my average game, right? I think my average game, I would say there's probably one guy playing their one trick. And that's because like some games, there's two guys playing their one trick. Some games, there's zero. But I would say the average is like one out of every 10 players and challengers probably playing a one trick. Somewhere around there. Maybe it's 5%. Maybe it's 10%. I don't know. Maybe it's 15. It's definitely viable to stick to one thing but you're just gonna probably have like less success than if you um can play like two or three champs you don't need to play five or ten you just need to play like more than 
literally one champ. Then they have to dodge if someone bans your one champ. That's not good. ADC is not the hardest for one trick, I think. Draven is like easily one tricked. I think tons of champions can be one tricked in AD. Ophelios. <clears throat> Probably can't one trick like Vayne 80. It's probably not going to work. Probably can't one trick Lucian 80. Probably not going to work. Yeah, Jin, Varus. Those are good ones as well. Kaisa's is probably a good one as well. Not like the best though. I need it. I'm going to crank the music a little up. He's gonna flash or flash, maybe? <clears throat> nope. I hate everything. He canceled it. He canceled it. He's like Cadrill. He canceled it. Yo, FYI, last week your mic spent on 8% volume. Oh, thanks, guys. That's really helpful.
That's my bad. I got hooked while he was going for the ward. We just farm, it's chill. Nice, good, Hughes. Two Qs and some pots and I'm back. Kind of low key getting a pink spike right now. Fuck. Forky dead mid. Oh, nice. Kinda of scared of guys, you know, a word for him. Pink tier. Nice. Nice. I didn't want to flash for it. That is definitely what I mean by... I don't think that... Uh, picking this many melee champs against... I'm just going to play for play, I don't care. against Zaya is a good idea. It was a nice ult by Vi to ult the Draven and hit the Nautilus through. Pass through is like really good CC and damage. If the rest of my team stops inting, we might win. Oh, shit. I didn't realize mid and top were getting owned. Mid's fine, though. Score is 0-2, but he's got good farm. And not like Sion is going to carry. Full tank Sion.
I just stood still and it autoed him to death. I don't even know what I'm doing. That was the laziest dive I've had. Nautilus got the kill. <laughs> Nautilus got that kill somehow. Wow, I totally forgot Draven had ult there. I was totally focused on one-shotting the wave. That was silly. But luckily, Nautilus got the kill. Woo! Totally forgot. Good play by them, yeah. I could focus on getting ahead myself, but I would so much rather just push. And when Nautilus is in base, you Drake, you Pryo. Oh, you, you fucking crazy guy. Walking up like that. That's a lot of gold from just killing wards. Good, good, good. Oh shit, Corky died again? My brother. What's happening mid? How is full tank Zion repeatedly killing you?
Fucking losers. The tanks are just holding down the fort mid. Oh man, Bully is also super huge. I'm gonna have to go Lord Doms this game. Lord Doms looks fucking OP this game. They have so many tanks. like that that's just troll mid, mid and inhibitor it is so bad of a objective to play for I think I have to base it's a bit of a Bowson's law moment Nah, I mean, not for mid and hip turret, though. I don't even think the boss would die for such a useless turret. Unless he just doesn't know how much gold and how valuable it actually is. I think he would die for outers because they give a fuck ton of gold. Outer inners, they give a lot. I'm not sure exactly how much the inhib one gives, but it's really, really... Not much. base yeah what is with these items that I have right here what the why are my items like this oh is it because I, I clicked on movement somehow
Holy shit, he's in there. I wish I farmed better this game. I could have Lord Doms by now if I had 300 more gold. I'm kind of scared. Our drum is dead. Yeah, we need to stop. <clears throat> they have low damage though. We have to get in there. take damage. Oh. oh nice. You actually get out? You're a fucking man. Mid mid inhib is gone. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That was a real bummer. I had Lord Doms in base, but they forced Baron with our jungler being dead. It's kind of smart. Extremely smart. Ow, I walked into the fucking barrel. 
Well, that was bad. Get Bork. Why does everyone always tell me to get Bork on AD carries that are terrible with Bork? Just because they have tanks. Strange stuff. Bork is not good against tanks, no. Only when you have, like, some sort of synergistic hit with Bork. Why does why does our top laner just keep fighting? I'm dead. Oh! Guys, this game is just so troll. Our our Aatrox just will not stop fighting. What is wrong with this guy? The last like 10 minutes out of the Aatrox, he's just doing the most heinous shit imaginable. On the Baron fight, hold on. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Let's see. Let's see what Aatrox is up to. He's 0-3 right now. He runs in on this Baron fight for a flank. By the way, the enemy team comp is four tanks and a Draven. Why is he flanking instead of creating space for me and Corky? The carries. He goes in. He dies. Okay. They have Baron. He's fighting bot. Dies. Enemy team has Baron. GG. I mean, Rakan didn't have to die either, but it's just so troll. Time to eat, time to eat, time to eat. Was Aatrox and Alice maybe it's the correct play? Yeah, I think that was the right play. Let's flip that fight without vision of the jungler when they have Baron. Yo, deal was Rakan, unlucky top laner, GG. Our, our top did not want to get carried.
Unlucky game, nice guy though. It doesn't really matter to me if you get shit on in lane. As long as the game is being pretty reasonable. Yeah, I mean like the Corky, he's getting spam ganked. He's keeping even in the game. He's like, what he's doing is making sense. He's playing for the objective. He's typing out, you know, I have package. Like he's like, you know, he's trying. I respect that. Everyone has bad games. Yes. And then one of these videos too. Well, they're about the same. No one is immune to just dying repeatedly early game. That just happens. But. It's really troll when you just like, at these super critical times, you just like flip the game on a 1v1 or you just like throw by just dying in side lane for free. Cause then it's like, dude, you're not playing with the team at all. You're just, you're just doing your own thing and trying to carry even though you're like super behind. I respect that Corky was trying to play with the team. Another burrito? Yep. The other one was a really tiny one. I'm still raw dog in the burrito with no sauce. I'm streaming, so I don't really have that. I don't have that much time to like spice up my food. You know, you gotta do it. Gotta do what I can. They want to ban Rakan. That champ is OP. Oh, I was supposed to lower my volume. Sometimes chat is pretty funny. Jinx outranges Alistar, so it's pretty good against it. Smolder also kind of outranges Alistar at a certain point. Definitely not early game, but... Oh god, no! Not the, not the Janna! Not the Janna!
This guy is going AFK in 10 accounts. Wait, what? I know I don't open people's like Twitch links, but my, I'm sorry for your ears. Holy fuck. I'm sorry for your ears, guys. My bad. I bring the heat. So he's he's playing on multiple accounts at once and just and he's just running it down mid on every single account. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, okay, that seems amazing. So, guys, how does how do accounts like this not get perma banned on Twitch? How do they not get banned on Twitch? You, you see stuff like this, and you're just like, does Twitch not care? Is it like not their job? Guys, I have Ghost Janet exhaust. Exhaust, please. Not go. Ah. Dude, I'm getting fucking L9 to this game. My support has ghost. Twitch probably doesn't care, not offensive for viewers, only the players. Okay, so if I... What, Yasuo has exhaust ghost. Weird game. If I... Let me, let me, if I started streaming Valorant and I had wall hacks on <clears throat> and aimbot, I would get banned on Twitch. That's against TOS, right? That's not against any rules, probably specifically written on Twitch. Maybe there is about cheating, right? No cheating in games. That's not, that, that's still going to get me banned on Twitch. Now. Is there like a big difference between running down five games simultaneously, literally right clicking it down mid on five accounts at the same time and, and installing cheats on your account and um, and playing like that, streaming like that? Yeah, there's a difference. I think it's harder. It's harder for someone to say, oh, this guy's running it down intentionally versus he's just playing bad. That one seems extremely blatant. Like it's like an obvious outlier, like a slam dunk. Yeah, he's his name is Permaban L9. His, you know, his whole thing is that he's just griefing the games. I can for sure run down. Yeah, you can run down the Valor games, but you cannot like cheat, which I guess that is the main difference, right? I guess that's the main difference between like breaking TOS versus cheating. Running it down does not equal cheating. Yeah. So I, I guess in that case, but it's just like, this is such a, this is such a ridiculous thing to see. It's so bad for the game when you see that. It's just fucked up, yeah. How did I cue that range minion there? That was super troll.
Oh, I missed one. Oh shit, I fucking grief that. Kinda greedy for me to try to push that wave out, but I kinda had to. And I get a pretty big uh, advantage off of it as well. Drake too. Wave is pushing out. This is pretty dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. Graves is just farming, yeah. But I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna pretend that he's doing something wrong. He's fine. This is what it is. Somebody on the team has to get behind if Voli's spam ganking a lane and that's me. I just kinda wish Jan had exhaust. The ghost is super droll.
What? What are you guys doing? This is crazy. They didn't respect our jungler would ever be bot side. The one time Graves is actually looking bot, that's the time I get a gank. Good shit. That tornado canceled Alistar's headbutt. That was crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit, that was weird. Gonna need a base. I'm not going to touch the next wave. I've made that mistake so many times where I, I touch this wave and then I feel pressured to finish pushing it, even though it's dangerous for me because my teammates are all backing out. So, second I AoE it, it's going to push into them and then I'm going to lose a lot. This champ takes like no mechanics to play. Let's not get cocky though, we still lose all ends.
How? Does that give him stacks when I walk into the fucking edge? I, I, I have to be just damaged by it or I can just like stay off the middle. It doesn't? Okay, nice. Oh, it does. Okay. Could have had some dragon on dragon action there, but decided, fuck it. 2.5k gold buy. Jesus Christ, this game is over. Like, how insane is this? Yes, last game, I thought I was playing pretty well, and this game, I'm playing kind of just, I'm just doing nothing. You know, I'm not doing good or bad. Just getting hard carried. Getting absolutely giga carried. Okay, that was really bad. I thought Aesol was being stupid, but I should have realized somebody was behind him there. He wasn't being stupid, he was just like going stupid aggressive at a good time. That was a pretty big loss, because now I don't have flash against their comp. Nice, got a stack there. Oh, sniper. Probably kills there, yeah. Oh, I really wanted one. That was a shutdown too. This dragon outranges me right now. Boom. More stacks for me. When you play Smolder, I think you should actually focus uh, on... Alright, one sec. Focus on getting two items as fast as possible, because it's like such a big difference having Shojin and not. The haste is insane on that item. Well, I could get Raptors here. I don't get the big one though. Oh, but I do get some stacks off of this guy.
Okay, I'm gonna base now. 19 minutes, and I have 200 stacks, and I'm two items. So I'm online. Getting the 225 is obviously icing on the cake. But I'm fucking online, boys. How much haste did I just get? I got 15 on my Q. That's not that much, but I got a shit ton of damage. I'm gonna get red. Alistair could have flashed on me there and I'm dead. My god, that is the second time this game that Aurelia is behind their team and I am like oblivious. I need to be real careful. Wait, what do I get for killing him? What do I get for killing Asol, guys? How many? A lot? How many is a lot? Current stacks divided by four capped between 15 and... Oh, okay. Do your thing, fellas. I'm here to let you know that there is an Aurelia coming for you. And a dragon is flying away from me. Dude, I need to kill this guy. I'm, I'm at four kill participation out of 21. I'm less than 20% of kill participation in this game. How can I get involved, guys? Shit is just happening. And it's never happening around mid. Oh, okay, okay, I can get involved. No, I can't. I can, I can get involved. Oh, thank God. I've done something. I've done literally anything at all. I've, d I've given, I've given my team a crumb of usefulness.
the smallest crumb. Yone 1v2'd. I did not expect that. Which really, I don't know why I didn't expect that. It's fucking Yone. When you see Yone outnumbered, it's like a fair fight. It's like a movie quote, I swear. Oh shit. Okay, now it's a fair fight. It was 1v3? Oh, my mistake, my mistake. Then it was a slightly disadvantaged fight for Yone. We're gonna get the Janasek going. I have 3k gold. Oh shit, Akali. Please come back. I'm gonna be really sad if we lose this game because Akali DC'd. You guys don't know, like, I really should have won that last game. Like, I shouldn't be sunlocked from the last game, but... That last game was so fucked up. Yo, where'd he go? Yo, hey, can you guys stop DDoSing the screen guy? Yeah, he's... He just has, like, another 10 minutes to go. You deserve it. I can't get mad. Take every cannon for the rest of the game. I don't care. You are him. You are Chad. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Not giving it. JK, come here. Oh! 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 They FF'd and then he fucking ran in trying to bait me for the Penta. What a bastard he is. Isn't that just like the most... Isn't that the pinnacle of a Smolder game? It's just like a complete vibe early game, you know, like just... Just pissing around, like having a good time, joking around with the Janna, like, oh, you want ghosts on Janna, you're not griefing this game, I promise. And then you just hit your spike and then you just have like one team fight where the enemy team is just despair the whole game. Just boiled down to that. Like that was that was like an abomination of a fight too, like. We, we have to watch that last fight from my POV. Because this is like the damage that I'm doing is like criminal. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. It's like I felt so useless forever. Okay, here we go. One Q. Two Qs. Three Qs. Here we go. Four. I mean, I got so many. I got so much splash. I think this one. This is the one right here. This is this is like. When you have like such a riot moment right here, like, bro, come on with that. How much damage was that? Like 2000 maybe? Cause it's burning. True damage on three guys as well. That was just silly. Bro is playing ADC Nasus. Yeah. 
pretty much. Except Nasus would never carry that fight at 25, 30 minutes. Only Meowder will. How much did NASA charge you for your PC? What does that even mean? I have a NASA PC? I keep hearing that term thrown around for some people who have like supercomputers and shit. I mean, I always look at YouTube chat, but it's just like half the time YouTube chat is saying like, he doesn't look at YouTube chat. That's the discussion. And then somebody says, yes, he does. It's like, I look at it and I'm like, yeah. That's not really worth responding to. Is that a Cali burrito? Um, it's a burrito with Honestly, it doesn't look that appetizing, but it's got beef. I ordered extra beef. It's got some guac. Cheese. No rice. I don't really like beans, but I wish they had rice. It's honestly just... Okay, so really what it is, is it's just like a tortilla wrapped in... Uh, or, or tortilla wrapping some beef, some guac, and some cheese. It's literally like three filling ingredients. And I just spilled some all over my fucking pants. Where from? Uh, it, it's not from like a chain. It's from like some local place called Sonora Town. Protein and tortilla. Yeah, pretty much. I don't like beans in my burrito that much. Fry fries. Yeah, I mean, I've had those, obviously. I mean, the more like unhealthy things you throw in a burrito, the better it tastes. And the worse that I'm going to feel in about 30 minutes. You guys know when I realized I was getting old? I started noticing that when I eat like shit, I feel worse. And that was like never the case when I was like 18. When I was like 23, 24, I was like, what the fuck is going on? I feel like shit. And then I started thinking about it and I'm like, well, I did eat fried chicken for lunch and then the pizza for dinner. And then like a microwaved meal, like a frozen TV dinner in between as a snack. Maybe that has something to do with it, but it's never it's never bothered me before. So then I switched it up. I started eating like healthy foods, you know, like healthier relative. Pretty much anything is healthier than that. I could be like eating radioactive sludge and it would probably be healthier than that. And um, I started feeling better. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Was this what being old is like? Never noticed that before. You are what you eat. Yup, old. But dude, imagine you're queuing up against a 31 year old in solo queue and you're getting stomped. Like that actually might be a ego crusher right there. I don't know if I could recover mentally. If I was 18 years old, I queued up against a 31 year old guy and he crushed me in lane, I might uninstall the game. Straight up. Did I read the Riot Vanguard article? No, what is that? Can you link it? You know what I sometimes like to do to see if I'm like actually locked? I know this is not the best. This is not the best like thing, but reaction time, right? Let's see. Wait. Oh my god! I f my my lead client popped. Man, fuck you. Wait, hold on. I can still make it. I can still make it. Damn! I'm so slow today. Six point eight seconds. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. I am old. <laughs> Fine. I don't need more enemies. Oh, uh, that's not that good. Oh shit, sorry. No, I'm not locked. I'm not locked. I'm not locked. Oh my god. I'm in the 170, 180 range. Woo! Need more caffeine. Need more caffeine. Old, did you? Varus first pick. Varus first pick. Can I can I swap my youngler or something? Like whoa. Like Barus. Fuck it. Fuck it, we go Kaiser. I don't know why, but we go Kaiser. Okay, let's go again, let's go again. Wait, what? How was- Wait, was it- Was it- Wait, wait did, did I have a stroke? Did I have a stroke? Like, what happened? <laughs> Wait, did, did I just like black out for a second? Like, did. I'm getting better. Ah! All good, guys. All good, guys. ADC is weak. It's the average of your five. Oh, oh my God. Because I had the one that was like six seconds or yeah. Okay. That makes sense then. I was like, I was like, I swear I clicked that like pretty fast. And then it said fucking 1.5 seconds, 1500 milliseconds. And I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. I might have a condition. When I'm absolutely locked in and primed up, I'm like at 150. Average human reaction time. Okay, so the average human reaction time is 0 0.25 seconds. Right, that's pretty, that pr pretty much correlates with this. Two point, uh, sorry. 273 ms is like pretty much the same but the average reaction time for like the visual like actually this this thing actually says pretty pretty important info on google it says here your visual reaction time is way slower on average than your audio um, reaction time. So in that way, you should try to think about all the sound cues in this game. Like if you close your eyes, could you um, could you like hear what a thresh hook sounds like? Like I can, I can play that. It's like a jingle. It's like coins jingling. I, I don't know how to make the sound, but you know, I and like Blitzcrank when he shoots the hook, it's kind of this high pitched like whirring sound. There's lots of stuff in this game that has a pretty big audio tell, and I think that's why some people feel like skins are pay to win, because the skins change the sound, and if you're not used to the sound, or it sounds weird, or the sound is muted, or the sound is delayed, then it throws off your timing. Because like subconsciously, when you play the game, you are actually reacting to stuff by sound a lot. At least I am like when I play AD carry and I'm lock screen like this and I'm just I'm like zoomed all the way in. That's how I normally play and my eyes are closed. Uh, I am thinking about reacting to stuff off sound. Yeah, 
It does confuse me when some pros don't play with sound. Yeah, same. I also play a lot better when I have my headphones on, but I like to just play headphones off and chill. That was ugly. Close. Crazy fights. The wave is good for me though. Very spicy, yeah. Ultimately, I think it's fine for me. Good for us. I think it's good for us.
That was so funny. He flashed the hook because it was going to kill him and it killed his AD carry and then he died anyways. That is one of the most unfortunate things I've seen. Rom needs to leave this game forever. Um, that's probably what Prismal is saying to him, yeah. Also, the, the Varus is playing really, really weird in lane. Like, he's just not really farming. He's, like, very, very much not farming. He's fully focused on trading, but I think... Trading is obviously really important, but you should focus on having perfect farm winning matchups. If you're not busting up giggling because the enemy is having a miserable time, then you're a better man than me. I want to know that we're all suffering together playing this game. Oh my god, there's something wrong with me. I'm ill. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My cannon. Almost debated. Lux is probably moving, yeah? Oh, these guys are fucking wild. TP? You want to TP for this? Okay. That's okay. You should if they stay, though. Is mid. <laughs> oh, somehow, um, not let's live that. What the fuck? Cannon. 
Oh, he dove there because Greg is CP'd behind him. You guys probably can't see because of the menu I've covered, but it was probably the right play. I believe it's good for me to move. Oh, nice! That ulti was fucking sick. Wait. Oh, shit. I missed my W. Ah! Playing terribly. Fuck, I need to go get red. This guy is huge, by the way. Frozen heart, oh dear. Oh. Alan doing? Live 200 ping, what the fuck? Yeah, no. My God. Almost fucking one shot from that.
I'm getting lazy with my spacing. I think it's not worth on I'm gonna sit in base actually. Funnily enough, I think it's worth it. <laughs> 334 years old? That's what 25, ex the 25 years of experience will get you. team fought without me. I'm gonna give my team a little pro tip, a little professional gamer tip here. We probably don't want to fight around the Talon. We might want to wait for me to be there before we go all in. Usually the bad things happen when you go into Talon's lane and try to just take a scrap. there. I need to catch mid. I guess I don't need to. I thought that was going to go a lot better than it did. I used both sums and we went two for three. What the fuck is this guy doing? Oh, never mind. 
he's being a Chad, that's what he's doing. Oh. He's being a Chad. Could I buy Merc Sim here? Hold on, let me, let me think about this. No, I'm not going to do that. There's only a 90s or like there's only like a 60 second difference between the Drake and my clans. I'm not gonna lie though, it's fucking scary running around with no clans. Their comp is really heavy CC. Yeah, I guess I should have went Merxin. The BT is not helping me. Oh. <sighs> Lux one shot the graves, yeah. I, I think this guy's been trading, no joke. He's actually Chinese. And what he's doing is kind of crazy. Unlucky as fuck. Wait. Never mind. Oh, thank God. I fucking ulted in on someone with Zonia's while Jax was sleeping in. But he shouldn't have Zonia's finish next fight. I might die. Oh! Wait. Wait! Movement! Moving! Holy shit, let's go. I'm buying a red pot.
I'm gonna push top for 16. I don't think they need me for this. We set up here. One of the rare games that you would go QSS and cleanse. This one right here. Because they have so many stuns that are QSSable. What did I QSS there? Oh, we lost. I don't think it matters how I play there. The fight is over while Brom has shield up and Jax has counter strike, so. LDR? You can't buy LDR and Terminus. Confused about the last fights. I need to go back and look at it. What happened? What, what did? What did? What even? I can't even tell like what champions or what. Literally in this clusterfuck, I can't tell what's happening. I know that talent instantly died, right? But then the fight looks fightable, maybe. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's Graves dying. Okay, I got rooted by Varys ulti, but I didn't notice until too late. I see. So Varys ulti bloomed to Nautilus, and then it bloomed to me, and I got rooted and exhausted. So I stealth, and then I QSS, flash, had a terrible time. I see. I got stunned instantly off of the front. If I QSS flash to the Varys root, I might live. We're still going to lose, though. It's really hard to tell what the fuck is going on in that fight. There's just so many, like, random circles, and... I didn't notice Varus ulti was blooming on me. Champion names instead of IGNs? Yeah, I do that in competitive, but in solo queue, people like to see people's names, so. It doesn't help me that much because I'm not really reading it. I'm, it's like only like one out of every like 50 games like that where I'm like, oh fuck, wish I had champ names on. Okay, so dev, Vanguard x lol. The how and the why of anti-cheat.
Okay, chat, let's see this. Riot's Vanguard comes to League. Let's see what this is about. It's getting about it's getting to be about that time, and I must once again extend to you our quadrennial anti-cheat greetings. I am Raj of Penguins, an anti-cheat artisan with lifetime 85 million bands served. And I'm manifesting today to talk to y'all about Vanguard. You already may have already you actually may have already suffered through our I don't like the way this guy types. Um, through our law anti-cheat literature in the past, and here is some of the recommended prerequisite reading. Feel free to skim through it. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm reading about, just reading the important bits here. Anti-cheat is a shadowy game. The darkness we usually operate in has the unfortunate side effect of generating a lot of confusion, concern, and frankly, misinformation. The way that I understand anti-cheat from a lot of like the videos and online articles about it is it's basically just an arms race between the anti-cheat maker and the cheat developers. So only the ex only the richest companies can afford to participate in that arms race. And that's why uh, one of the greatest like plagues of a smaller studio that's trying to make an FPS game or really just any PvP game at all, but specifically FPS game, is if you're a smaller studio and you don't have the money of like EA or Riot or any of these massive companies like Valve, you won't have enough money to participate in that arms race to, to compete. And so your game is gonna be plagued with hackers and there's really nothing you can do about it until you get a you know, really expensive and extend and, and really, really extended uh, anti-cheat team. So the, the games where the anti-cheat is really good, it's like you don't really even notice because it's like everything is working as intended. But then you have to play a game with a lot of cheaters and you, you'd be like, oh, OK, like that's like actually the majority of the FPS titles out there that have just like, you know, they just die because they can't fight the rampant cheating. Um, okay, so the news of Vanguard and Law was certainly divisive. The majority of, after all, the majority of players aren't cheating. Well, yeah, that makes sense. No one is exactly thrilled at the notion of installing more stuff solely because cheaters can't figure out how to fight fair. Yeah. Um, League of Legends is a fairly secure video game. The server simulates the entirety of the game state. And the client is only responsible for making requests to it, often referred to as... Hold on one second, let me make sure I... Have the right runes and shit in this game because I am in champ select. And I would not want to fuck this up. Okay, we're chilling. Often referred to as an authoritative model, it essentially means that our server is the final arbiter of truth. And uh, okay, this is also another thing that happens quite a lot in specifically like MMOs and RPGs is like there's a huge difference between like server side and client side um, sort of like authority, I guess. I don't really know what the right word is for it, but essentially back in the day, a lot of the games would like trust the user. And so you could just go into your game files and can configure it. So, you know, I start off at level, not my character's level 99 and I have 20 billion HP and 50,000 dexterity. And you could just like cheat the game by just editing a couple lines in your files. I used to do that shit all the time in single player games. And some multiplayer games actually had that problem too. One of them that comes to mind is when I played New World. And there was some really fucking goofy shit going on in New World. Well, first off, there was like duping of golden items. And second off in New World, this is like a, you know, New World is like an MMO with, with uh, focus, I guess, on like PvP and the economy and like controlling areas of the map, the controlling areas of the server. And people um, would just do crazy shit in like chat. They would like crash people's computers and you could like link stuff in the chat that it wasn't text it was like images it was just like really really insane stuff that the, was overlooked by amazon yeah you could change the size of your screen to make yourself unkillable you could and there was like so many of these like crazy bugs uh i remember one of them is like you your your character would temporarily become involved oh. Oh, oh, oh. OK, 
Okay. That's that then. One thing in New World that I thought was hella funny is like your character would temporarily become invulnerable if you were um if you were like alt tabbing. It was like a measure to help people who are like DCing, right? So it's like your DC, your client closes or your client minimizes, and your character would become vulnerable for like a little bit of time, like a frame or like a second. And people would just abuse this by like like dragging their window like making it like bigger and smaller while they're fighting and it would make their character it, it would just do it a thousand times over and over again so it would, it would make their character permanently invulnerable it was so troll The range minions are fucking him. use it on these weird ones. Nice. Fuck, this is weird now. I don't have flash. So I can just die to karma gank easily. Okay, we've successfully survived the Kha'Zix ganks. We've lived them. My god, that was, um, that was scary because I had to flash on the earlier gank. I'm actually gonna die if I fucking get spam ganked by Kha'Zix. Wow, they really let him do that? You up? Nice. Coming.
I was about to say, they didn't have to let him do that. And they didn't. I don't know. I could hit a little bit, but I don't think I get a plate. Yeah, I don't. Did Jinx flash? I thought I think she just ghosted. Or did she Only Karma flashed? My bad, maybe not worth it. I thought it would be cleaner than that. I fucking creamed. That was nasty.
I lost track of Trist. And Jinx, to be honest. I thought Jinx was getting ganked. She just fucking ran up and killed me instead. Dominance play worth it? Not really, but yeah. Oh, shit. Kha'Zix is here, that's why I'm not fighting. He's on Krugs. Look at this fucking loser. Which is so annoying because when I hit him with poison, he can't base for another six seconds after that. Oh my god, FF. FF. Did I let him lose the cannon? The way that I lost the cannon, the way that I have suffered. Naruto pain. You will know pain. Wait, what was the quote from, from Pain and Naruto? He's basically just an emo guy and he wants people to suffer like how he suffered. Fringe Lord, I am ill. This world shall know pain. Burger flip this game on mid here. Who is this? Donna? Fuck. Yes, I did just walk straight into those Jinx traps, Giga Chad. I felt like it was better just to sit on them and move forward than fucking, like, move around and potentially waste some autos off my ulti. I don't know if that was actually right or wrong. If I ran around, do I kill the fucking Jinx? I don't know. Hard to say. 
Wait a sec. You, my friend, are a burger flipper. A burger flipper of doom. go back to mid. Why do, why do my autos feel like I'm canceling there even though I'm, I'm not clicking anything? You guys notice that? It's like I'm like stuttering and canceling my own auto attacks. This is weird because I'm not I'm not clicking. I'm not like I'm not even really trying to orb block. Let me see. Still issue? Not even fucking moving my character. It's like stopping me. What the fuck is happening? Get down, Mr. President. What? Can't tell if I'm supposed to laugh or cry when that happens. Oh fuck, that's not right. My zero wins, zero losses thing is actually wrong today. I might give this guy a bit of a treatment here. I might be getting a treatment right here. into the no shot that just happened no shot that just happened no shot that just happened that's so funny The Rakan is actually popping off though. When he ults, everyone just somehow runs into him and gets charmed. I should have honored him, huh? I should have honored him. Was it the same Rakan? I don't think so. I don't think so. Galbi King. And then who is my previous Rakan? Nope. Different one. I'm 2-2 two -two today. Okay, sorry. Let's go back to this scripting article. So basically he's saying that League is relatively secure. 
Scripting developers create platforms that are essentially wrappers for the LOL client. They rebroadcast the game as an event stream and allow the user to create, or more likely copy and paste, a selection of scripts that automate certain behaviors in response to these events. The end result is usually a frame-perfect Zeri kiting on what appears to be a near-lethal dose of caffeine or a god-touched Cassiopeia that, through the power of prayer, has, rendered, has been rendered untouchable by any skill shot. It's not fun to play against cheaters, and worse, once you know scripts are out there, it's hard not to suspect other players of using them. You know, I, I actually have this, um, I have this, like, uh, same phenomenon happening right now with Valorant, and it's funny, it's because, you know, another Vanguard game. Valorant is Vanguard's first game that, um, you know, Riot developed it specifically to fight cheating in, Va in Valorant. And what I've noticed is, like, when there's an uptick of cheaters, it's really hard for you not to suspect that the top frag on the enemy team is cheating. It's really, really hard because the, like once you just get an inkling, like once you get like one instance of like, oh, this guy's probably cheating. Now all of like your suspicion levels are like increased. So be before where you just say, oh, this guy's having the game of his life. This guy's having, you know, a really solid game. Now you're starting to think like, oh, is he walling? Is he like, how are they so aware? And then you start suspecting those guys where normally um, you never would. So it's kind of like a snowball effect of just like playing against like one or two people who are scripting in league or cheating in an FPS game. Then you will start being so suspicious and paranoid that everyone is cheating. Uh, and it really ruins your behavior. Like, sorry, it really ruins your experience because... Now it's like you just feel like such a huge percentage of your games are unfair or might have been unfair. And it feels really lame. Um, not everyone is that as good as cheating. I mean, like, I, 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 I'm not trying to, uh, to like sound like a fucking scrub here, but like my, my stack is like the average rank of our stack is like Immortal 3. Like there's multiple Radiants and there's multiple Immortal players in our stack. We're not scrubs. Like we obviously know the game, and it's still really, really hard not to be suspicious of some people. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Scripter persistence. Our first problem is that cheating is addictive, and scripters are persistent. Yeah, I mean it's a business. It's a business. I I would not be surprised if people make millions of dollars selling cheats in games. Millions and millions. Like I, it, it's crazy to me that there's such a market for it. But at the same time, I guess I'm not that surprised. Like people are willing to pay to take shortcuts in everything. So I'm not that surprised. Just we all know, like I think like 99.9% .9 of us watching right now think that like people who script in league and people who cheat in FPS games and, and really just cheat in any game are like losers. Right, those guys are losers, straight up, and it's just like that—that that one out of every like 100 players, or one out of every like 500 players that is uh, that is doing it's ruining for everyone else. Scum of the earth, yeah. It's just—it's just like fucking disgusting. LOL is a free-to-play game, and one ban is never enough. That's why um, in Counter Strike, I, uh, Counter Strike uh, CS:GO used to cost like 15 bucks, right? And I'm trying to remember what happened. It, it it went free to play, and to combat cheaters, I think they have some sort of measure where if you play, it doesn't it doesn't help. By the way, like there's still a shit ton of cheaters in matchmaking. Um, what did they do? They did something where you had to hook it up to your phone number, or maybe you had to pay something that allowed that like created a little bit of a barrier. So it wasn't enough. Regular suspensions have stood up a saturated secondary account market, and the barrier to reentry is only the cost of a fresh level 30, which at the time of this article is about 199 with the side of large fries. Yep, true. I can confirm. I went to these websites. You can buy a bronze account in League for like four bucks. It's very, very cheap. This type of quantity over quality pricing strategy is made possible because you guessed it, the accounts them themselves are leveled by scripting applications, resulting in a loop that allows cheaters to iterate against us indefinitely. Oh, wow. When you put it that way, it sounds like really hopeless, right? League, games with a cheater weekly. Percentage of, glob of games globally played with a scripter or a bot. Take a look at this. 
percentage of games. 15%? Wait, what? 15% peak in 2023? Wait, this is less than a year ago. Even right now, it's like 8%. That's, this is four months ago. Wow. Okay, so it started out two years ago in 2022. It started out at like 1%. And, and it ended up going insane. And, and I can say definitively, like just for personal experience, that seems right. Um, I think the rate of people cheating in league has increased dramatically in the last couple of years. I refuse to believe I had cheaters in my shit plat games. See, this is this is actually the the biggest cope that people have. I think like there's like two sides of the this equation is like um, some people feel like, oh man, there's no way I play against cheaters. I'm in bronze. Who's cheating in bronze? And it's like, well, a bronze player is cheating in bronze, and for them, it's like a way for them to have more fun while ruining it for everyone else. And they're probably going to still stay close to bronze. Maybe th maybe they went from bronze to silver. Maybe they went from iron to bronze, and now they're in your elo. And they are scripting. They're just so bad at the game that even with a superpower, a superpowered version of an iron player is still a bronze player. And then another thing that people sometimes think about is like, um, so sometimes people give a pass to like amateur players they're like, that guy would never cheat. Why would, the, why would a pro player, why would a top player in the craft ever cheat? And that's like the appeal to like, guys, like I'm a, I'm like a fucking top player myself. Why would I ever cheat? And it's like, well, a lot of the times top players do cheat in like speed running and in a lot of things like fucking, I'm sure in like regular sports as well. I'm sure there's tons of people who've gotten their like Olympic medals stripped away because like that's, that's like the five or 10% edge that they need to become a champion. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think like people cheat at all ranks basically wouldn't be shocked if it addressed it in this article. CSGO land cheaters are back in the day. Yeah. You don't, I don't feel like I've seen a scripter in years, but I definitely play less the last couple of years. Yeah. It, it's weird because like y you think that a scripter is someone who, um, dodges every single skill shot, right? But what about a guy who has the app ins the, the the cheat program installed and just turns on the dodge script for one team fight? Do you really think that you would notice that? That's still cheating, and that still gives them a crazy advantage. For one team fight, they play mechanically perfect and can't be hit by a skill shot. Are you really going to detect that? It's the same thing in FPS games when people have like an aimbot or like maybe even like walls, and they only toggle it on for a portion of the game, just enough to get an edge where they're like pretty likely to win. I think it's really, really hard for you to say like, oh, I've never played against a cheater in League. Scripters are that smart. They are, yes. They're not, they are that disciplined, guys. They're not stupid. They're not going to get mass reported every single game. They're going to, like, not every single cheater is going to just have that shit on perma scripting from level one to level 18. Hmm. In recent months, as many as one in 15 games globally has a scripter or botter in it. But in some region, this number is as high as one in five. I'm going to imagine those regions are the like non-major regions. So like China, Vietnam, maybe like Brazil, Latin America, or something like that, because I'm not really sure why it is. But it seems a lot more prevalent. Like, it, it do, I don't think one in five would happen in NA. I don't, I just, that's just my gut feeling. I've been downing this breeder for the past two hours. Yeah, I have. Cheating isn't really region specific. Cheaters just go wherever cheating is easiest. In Eastern countries, we see high rates of scripting because they're getting spillover <clears throat> from cheaters in China and Korea, both of which have region exclusive anti cheats and, more importantly, identity requirements for gaming from their regional governments. <clears throat> okay. 
that would make sense. In Eastern countries, there's higher rates of scripting. I guess in other regions, there's other rates of, uh, like, higher rates of other stuff. It's only worth making cheats if there's glory worth stealing. So attempts at cheating are actually the sign of a successful competitive environment. Whoa. However, this is far too many for a game with Olympic level ambitions. And if we want to win, if we want the win to mean something, we must protect its integrity. That is a really um, <clears throat> almost like a philosophical statement here. Basically, he's saying that it's not really worth it. Like people only cheat in games where it's worth cheating in. And because League is like a game with a lot of like stakes and competitive, it's a competitive game. It's a game that people value being good at. Well, people are going to attempt to cheat. So it's actually kind of like almost he's like saying like, yo, my job, it's hella important, guys. We need me. But he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Analysis from Wish. Scripter effectiveness. The second a problem is that scripting is rather effective. And to their credit, scripters have gotten quite good at playing without the use of their hands. Wait a sec. I might have gotten a few scripters in my team. When piloted optimally, scripter win rates hover around 80% in ranked games. Continue propelling their unyielding supply of accounts to the ladder. I mean, yeah, it's probably infinite fucking accounts, right? The polyphonic rainbow you are now bearing witness to is the percentage of ranked games completed with a cheater, bucketed by what tier the scripter was in at the end of the game. You are reading what you are reading that correctly. More than ten percent of Masters Plus games had a cheater in them. Even Challenger, which we manually audit on regular cadence, has suffered from a significant number of cheaters. Wow. Wow. Let me let me see this again. So masters and grandmasters have the highest rate of cheating. Challenger is kind of down there with everyone else, but still, I'm looking at like 5% a lot of the time, and then sub 5% pretty recently, but like only gotten cleaned up within that last year. I mean, it peaked for a whole year, 2022 to 2023. That was 10% of games, bro. One in 10 interesting i don't really like the i don't really like the colors yeah it's it's kind of hard to tell what the fuck's going on in there but we're still we can't see how the trend continues because the current anti-cheat is broken okay so league has been surviving right now on an anti-temper called pac-man however due to an unrelenting volley of cheats and bans the anti-cheat technology space moves at recursive light speed after factoring in for a hyperbaric time dilation Okay, this guy's, I, I hate the way this guy types. Like, he's just, he's just like waffling, bro. He's just yapping. He's just making, he's just like making a joke. You know, he, he just is yapping and yapping and, and making, it's all good. It's all good. Pac-Man's primary objective is to make analysis of the game binary. Wait, just to make analysis of the game binary more difficult. This includes hiding the anti-cheat detections that it appends to a game client. The problem is that dumping the, the obfuscated game binary and bypassing the anti-cheat checks are now something closer to a training exercise, and it's one that only that's only been made potentially easier by the breach earlier last year. Pac-Man was never meant to last this long, and iterating on it has become prohibitively expensive. Oh shit! I see, I see. So it's becoming like less and less good. Okay, that makes sense. Gotta upgrade, so Aunt Vanguard here. Best anti-cheat is fastest anti-cheat. Um, I, I have heard this, by the way, that this, this whole thing is a cat and mouse game or it's like an arms race between the developer and the cheaters. <laughs> it's funny. By uncoupling ourselves from the game client, moving more of Vanguard to the server, we can deliver different checks to riskier players, making our intrusion detection far more targeted and much faster. Time to action, League and Valorant. Number of ranked games per cheater before ban. So in Valorant, it started at 30 games before they got banned. And then it went all the way down to about 15. And in League, it started at 23. And it's now at 30 fucking 8. So it's getting worse in league that's still a lot of games to be cheat i mean like i know that it's not as simple as like just ban the cheaters forehead why can't riot ban cheating but like 
that's still a lot of games to ruin. Hmm. It has become so large a chore to stay undetected that most cheaters don't even bother. Instead, they rage for a few games and get banned just as nature intended. Nice. Nice. That's exactly how I want it. Where Vanguard starts to further distinguish itself from other anti-cheats is in its enforcement of security standards even further to the left of the game client. So on the operating system itself, several of these requirements aren't totally frictionless, but they may inflict many hurdles onto those that want to distribute cheats successfully. For this reason, we're constantly having to make trade-offs for the security of the game versus the ease with which players can access it. Um, okay, I don't think I care that much about like all of the de the details. I think what people really have this um have a problem with with these really sort of like deeply rooted anti cheats in your PC is two things. The anti cheat starts the second that you start your computer. And people don't like that there's an there's essentially a process running in the background of your PC whether or not you're playing the game that it's intended to protect. The second thing that people don't like is that it could, I think, in theory, like access a lot of the information in your computer because it has like the authority to do that. I don't really know the details of this. <clears throat> people definitely talk a lot about it. So I just kind of believe what people say online that, you know, there, there's a capability for this anti-cheat to be used in like a nefarious way. They go into both of it later in the article. Okay. Let's see. Why is it always on? Vanguard is not really running all the time. The driver loads at boot, but nothing is making calls to it. And there's no network connectivity until you run one of Riot, Riot's games. It's literally just sitting there menacingly. <clears throat> so it can attest to the fact that nothing's happened between Windows loading and the game starting that would break the operating system. When you launch League, the Vanguard co client contacts the driver to confirm it thinks everything is 100%. If so, you receive a valid anti-cheat session and may connect to the game server. That makes sense. Instructions from the client then start enabling features within the driver to watch for things that might tamper with signed leak process and prevent them. You can always disable the driver whenever you, you'd like. You'll just need a fresh reboot to recertify the integrity of the trust chain before you jump into game. <clears throat> Excuse me. As Vanguard rolls out to league, we'll see a dramatic decrease in the number of cheaters, but fun doesn't have to stop there. With heightened VM prevention, we will drive up the cost of botting and inflict significant friction onto reoffenders. Bot supply for boosted accounts will dry up. Bypassing bans will no longer be by another level 30. With its device fingerprinting, Vanguard will also gives us a renewed opportunity to sink teeth into boosting, smurfing, and account compromise. We'll be able to revoke rewards boosters didn't deserve, get smurfs to their proper rating faster, and maybe even invalidate unfair pre-mades. Increased Client security and less scripting means that the league team will be able to leverage more mechanically rewarding designs like combos, timing windows, and executes. What? I don't think I don't think that a better anti-cheat is gonna change how people design champs, guys. That's that's copium. That's copium. We're not changing like design of a champion. Like Freak is not out there like tinkering with a champ's kit and he's like, oh, but but what if it, what if this champion had a cheater piloting it? Hmm. Really makes you think, huh? ah, fuck it. We'll just make them brain dead. Rank statistics won't be as poisoned by scripters, facilitating easier balancing of high risk and high reward champions, and games ruined by cheaters can eventually be undone, returning LP to those affected. That's a big one. I like that about Valorant too, is like when a cheater's detected, the game refunds the people's LP who got fucked over by the cheater. I know it's hard to be delighted about new anti-cheat, but this is the hardest part. It's only up and to the right from here. Until next time. Okay, the Vanguard team is up now 30 people. Cheaters are always working against us. Let's read this part about Vanguard being spyware. No, and I'm, but I'm sure those words in that exact order are mathematically the fastest way to farm retweets. Content algorithms everywhere are program, pr programmatically addicted to clicks to the clicks. What? I'm, I'm, dude, I am having a brain fart. Content algorithms everywhere are programmatically addicted to the clicks the word spyware or rootkit can generate. Okay, that, that took me a bit. And mathematically hunting for their next fix has steered them away from informative journalism in into so, uh, dude, this is getting like, this is this is getting like way too yappy about, this is, this is getting kind of preachy, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to know if it's, it's spy, like, you know, what is it really doing? Each region must adhere to its own specific policy and 
regulatory requirements. Tencent, for example, has their own anti-cheat for games operating in their region, including Riot's titles, for which they are the Chinese publisher. And while we do sh share cheats we find so that our respective teams can make detections for them, we have no need to share anything else. We've met with Tencent, Tencent's anti-cheat team maybe three times in a decade, and the only thing we exchanged were high fives and band counts. They won both contests. Well, yeah, I mean, they have like a million more players. Uh, uh, sorry, not a million, like 50 million more players. We don't share Vanguard or its code, and anti-cheat data has never left Riot's warehouse. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I think, like, people who... um are super paranoid that like your your PC's data and like browsing history and stuff like that is is going to get leaked to China and and Tencent is going to harvest all that stuff and somehow fuck you over you like you we already lost is is the best way I can describe it like I'm not going to pretend that like my shit is safe and like fucking my you know when I go to when I go to like Instagram, I get an ad about like fucking like like baby stuff because me and Lena sometimes talk about having kids and it's like we already lost, you know, like my phone is listening to me and when it's when it's off in my pocket about like what I'm saying, um, it's just it's like we already fucking lost. I don't really care. Basically, that, that that's my point. Like I just I want to sit down on my PC. I want to play games. I have a good time. I don't care if um like fucking google and facebook and twitter and e like but but even if even if i don't care i tr i truly just don't think that riot is going to let that happen maybe i'm just super naive like i just i think that if riot let that happen if they let their anti cheat if they sold the data from their anti cheat and it got leaked it's in it would be so devastating to their reputation no one would trust riot ever again and in a way i believe in like i believe that riot is selfish enough protective enough of their reputation like this is not like that they're ultra an altruistic like benevolent company that is just like so charitable you know what i mean like i believe that riot is selfish enough to never let that happen because if it got out, if one guy within the company, like a disgruntled employee, knew about it and left the company and leaked it to a, a journalist site or somebody somehow found that out, it would ruin their reputation. They would never, ever gain the trust of their community ever again. Like it's it's like the yeah, it's like the end of their reputation if that happens. And th that is maybe, you know, maybe I'm being like way too optimistic about that. Um, but I believe that they would never do that just because it's way too much of a risk for them as a business. What data could they possibly have that'll force them to take action on, uh, or some wait? we can't let China win brother. Yo, 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 GBZ, stop typing. We're not, we're not reading essays. There are 100k bounties sponsored by Riot for Vanguard vulnerability detection. That's not what people are talking about. So what people what people are talking about is would Riot would Riot use their own anti cheat for nefarious purposes? Would they scrape the data from their users' PCs and sell it off to China? And then China is gonna is gonna take over the world with all this information. It's like, bro, like fuck it, take my browsing history. I don't care. I just want to play games where there's no cheating. I, I couldn't care less, bro. Like, fucking... Like, the worst thing that could happen is, I guess, like, my fucking, like, social security number and, like, I, like my, my credit card info go to China and then it's fucked. Um, so far, I don't think that that's happened, but, um, you know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Speak for yourself. See, that's that's actually that's actually the, the the other part of it. It's like if you don't hmm. I guess if you don't, if you're not okay with it, then you can't play the game. Which really sucks, but I feel like it's a necessary evil. Oh my god, my data is leaked.
you uninstall when it was announced. But I'm just curious, like why? Like, so so for the people, I'm trying to understand the other side of the other side of the like fence, I guess. So it like for the people who like really strongly think, um, you know, this is this is a a line that is like I'm not willing to cross. Why are you afraid? Like, what is um, what are you afraid of? People who strongly think, people who strongly think probably have things like crypto information on their PC. Okay. Okay. I mean, actually, I didn't think about that. I did not think about that. Some people have their life savings, and at that information, and it's like, they're you know, some people like literally, some people have their life savings in a notepad somewhere. That's their you know crypto wallet information. Okay. See, I I didn't even think about that. Like, I'm I'm open to learning about other, uh, you know, different opinions. You shouldn't be. I mean, but yeah, but like maybe they shouldn't be doing that. But I I think that's a real reason. That's like keeping money on your mattress. I mean, if I like guys, if I was somebody who had my life savings in crypto and my information was on my PC, I could definitely see myself being uncomfortable like whether or not that's a good decision yeah i mean like everyone's allowed to make their own decision then i'd probably uninstall league and valorant i would hmm i'm afraid of my credit card info getting leaked or my social number being used as identity theft hmm see the, 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 i guess like to to fight like that point i feel like every single thing that you sign up for online whether like <clears throat> you put you hook up your your credit card information to like Venmo to to fucking Amazon when you buy RP you you punch in your credit card information like there's so many ways there's so many vulnerabilities that like th that could be the random website you know like I remember like a long ass time ago I signed up for a VPN on some like random ass website I'm like I'm pretty sure this website had like dog shit security and you know, later on, I had to like, um, <clears throat> I had to like deal with an identity identity theft situation. And I went back and I thought like, okay, so like, which one of these websites was it? And I looked through the list of shit that I had hooked my credit card up to, and it was like, I had like punched in my credit card info to like a hundred different websites. Now, if you're like really, really conservative with that kind of stuff, where you never put your credit card information in, um, I could see that. I could I could see it, but the the way I see it is like, this is just like one more in a fucking gigantic mountain of potential vulnerabilities for my credit card. Yeah, like I I get my social security. Dude, fuck it. At this point, if, if somebody in chat walked up to me asking for my social security number, I might just give it to you, honestly. It's just uh, <laughs> like, it's just out there, you know? Like I, I fucking punch my social security in when I get coffee in the morning. Like that shit is just out there. <laughs> it's It's no secret, you know? I, I, I like put that shit in like so many random online forums at this point. I don't even know what it's like normal and to, to do it and what not to do it. Yeah, hold on. Uh, write this down. 69, uh, 420. Fuck you. What about false positives? Okay, let's let's read this part and then we're going to go back to solo queue. Players claiming a false ban are in one of seven categories ordered here by likelihood. I'm not even going to look. I'm not going to look. I'm going to say the first one is they're they're they cheated and they're and they're bad. They just are bitching. They are presenting a fictional narrative. Fucking nailed it. That is the number one most common story I see on Reddit. Like, oh my God, the big bad company, they banned me for literally nothing. I've never touched anything ever. And then somebody in that Reddit thread, dude, it's such a classic internet moment. Somebody in that Reddit thread will then look that account up on like a cheating website or like a real money transaction site where like you can buy items for money, which is against TOS. They'll look that guy's username up and be like, hey, is this you? And then everyone in the comments afterwards would be like, get fucked, idiot. Like, it's just, it's so much like, just like justice boner when that happens. It happens all the time. They tested a cheat on a Smurf, poisoning their main through hardware linking, known internally as whoopsie daisies. Oh, that, yeah. And also known as Laura from CSGO. She's an absolute culprit of this. Always downloading cheats on people's accounts. Those poor, innocent souls. 
They shared their account with someone who cheated, usually a paid boosting service or a relative. They repeatedly queued with a booster that used cheats and ate a 180 day ban for their trouble. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Their account was stolen by a serial rage hacker who used it to torture other players for exactly six games. That has happened to me. That has happened to me. People, I don't know how, but my account got fucking, my main account in League got hacked and they, they ran it down for like five games. They used cheating software for another game and Vanguard unfortunately picked it up. Okay. I mean, then, then fuck you. Like, anyways, if you cheat another game, fuck you. They had malware installed that performs the same operations as a cheat. I don't even know what that means. Does that mean that they tried to cheat or that they like just like accidentally installed fucking RuneScape, uh, a bad version of it? In the account compromise cases, we try to pr place protective suspensions on the accounts. Though we are not always fast enough, sometimes the damage is too great a percentage of the account's playtime and it becomes difficult to identify any sort of true owner. With hardware level cheating, we can't always tell which game you intend to cheat on, so it's our firm recommendation that you just not cheat on any game. For genuine false positives, usually caused by malware, we completely revert the rule that caused them after an else. Hold on, let me, let me just back up a little bit. I think that for the games with a very, like, for the games with a really... Um, like godlike anti cheat. So I think Apex is is one of them, uh, and Riot with with Valorant is another one of them. Valve definitely doesn't make the cut, from what I've heard. Um, but with, for the ones with the godlike anti cheat, I, I think it's kind of like that whole no fly list thing. Wait, Apex? Apex and oh oh Apex anti cheat is terrible. Oh shit, I forgot. Apex has horrible. Wait, guys. Guys, Apex is the Apex is the cheat where they had a tournament, a fucking tournament, and someone logged in the 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 beamed cheats to some an innocent player. I'm not even kidding. Like a competitor had a competitor had like aimbot, but he didn't download it. It got beamed to his fucking game by a cheater. Okay, wait. So which game has a good anti cheat? Wh which game has a good anti cheat other than other than Valorant? That hell clip, yeah. Siege for Fortnite? PUBG, not PUBG, bro. I I dude, it's tough. Okay, whatever. I hope in the future, maybe, maybe, maybe this is too optimistic for me to say right now. It's too optimistic. I hope in the future, <laughs> chess, yo, know, chess, chess has a terrible anti-cheat. You can have the vibrating butt plug anytime. It'll fucking work 99% of the time. If it's like with flying and the no fly list, I think someday if you're a little shithead on an airline, I hope that you get perma banned on every airline, not just the one where you were a shithead on, right? And I, I hope the same thing about um, pretty much about cheating in games. Like, I think if you're a shithead and you're like fucking aimbotting in one game, if there is irrefutable evidence that you did that i think you should get banned on like pretty much every game because fuck you that's why um but but it's like too hard to um it's too hard to implement right now it's we're still in like you know gaming's almost like infancy no fly lists are sadly usually airline specific yeah no i i, I know but like i hope that it becomes like that someday Fuck learning from your mistake. Dude, come on. <laughs> like, come on. Like, what, dude, just, just no. <laughs> you just, you downloaded the cheat. You're like fucking playing the game with it, bro. Like, like this is not something where it's just like, oops, I messed up. Sorry. With hardware level cheating. Okay, let's see here. Um, already read that. Okay, so here we go. Why not just sue cheat developers? I read an article, this is happening in China. I read an article about Chinese cheat company sued. Uh, wait, game. Dude, fuck, I saw it on Reddit, but where is it? Oh, here it is. No, this is not it. Uh, this, this is not the one. Wait, what the fuck? Luxury sports cars were among the expensive assets seized by Chinese police? Said the world's biggest video game cheating ring? 
Wait a sec. Daily Mail. Wait a second. What the fuck am I doing? Why am I sitting here with you guys? I could be making cheats. I could be getting Lambos like these guys. Damn, I didn't know it paid that good. Jesus. Um, okay, it says, Oh, for sure, we do that when we need to, and our legal team couldn't be more hyped to defend Riot's experiences, but with Vanguard, few developers have had the persistence necessary to ever warrant it. Most don't attempt bypasses, and those that do usually give up sheepishly, returning one or two basic anti-cheat volleys, and the unrelenting exit scams also kind of do hard work for us by sowing distrust in the cheating community and reducing likelihood that larger resellers ever really become a problem. With the right anti-cheat posture, it is rare that sufficient business forms around any one provider to justify a lawsuit. Right now, the majority of our legal efforts are directed towards advertisements for malware mas masquerading as an aimbot. Huh, interesting. Oh, okay. So so people are selling aimbot. They're like, yo, dude, check out. It's fucking, this is heroin. And it's actually like something it's like fucking like sugar pills or in this case it's it's just malware and it doesn't it doesn't even do its job as an aimbot nah bro cheaters cannot keep, they can't just keep taking these l's it's vent why not create a game mode for cheaters cheaters island sounds very amusing but we have chosen instead to spend all our engineering time on just preventing the cheats in the first place yeah this is this is something that people have been talking about so like what happens when you detect a cheater and instead of banning them from the game you only let them queue against other cheaters and what i would say to that is i want to spectate that so bad i want to spectate a game of 10 scripters and i want to see what happens so badly like, I'm begging you, right? Just do this for me. Like, just do it. I'll fucking do it. I'm on my knees. That's crazy content. Like, what happens when you your your script? It's like, it's like it's like um that 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 old TV show BattleBots where people are like coming up with their own little fucking like little race cars with like fucking knives and like flamethrowers and shit, and just like seeing who can make the best cheats. No one hits anything or everyone hits everything. It's like, dude, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. We don't have infinite money and using resources. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, why not AI anti-cheat? Don't care. Uh, if Vanguard is so good, why do I still see cheats in Valorant? I would love to read this one. Actually love to read this one. For starters, we do not action every cheater account instantly. Every ban is like broadcasting a signal to the developer that their cheat has been detected and that they need to update it. Yeah, this is this is actually something that people talk about all the time. It's like the second you detect a cheater, why are you not just fucking banning them? It's obvious. And it's like to the to the developer, it's obvious, but they don't want the um the cheat maker to know like, oh, they tweak this one thing. They turn this knob and then everyone got banned. Okay, now they know to avoid turning that knob or they learn a little bit more about like the anti-cheat measures from the developer. So um, yeah, they learn what they need to update. And in order to slow the progression of our cheats, cheat arms race, we delay bans based on the sophistication and visibility of the cheat and cheater respectively. But also a cheater is going to cheat. We've really driven our preventative layer as far as we can feasibly go without colliding with existing setups and hurting legit players. We'll detect them soon enough, but not before they snap a video and repeatedly drop it on TikTok for the highest ad to malware click-through rate ever before realized. And just because it says live does not mean you're watching a live stream. Don't download garbage. Yeah. This actually reminds me of a video that I have. So D... Let's see here. Wait, hold on. Double if script. Well, maybe like this. This... I, I, I just have to show you guys how crazy some of these scripts are. Like, I can't imagine coding this. Just wanted attention, but it's fucking... Isn't this, isn't this just like... Crazy the way his game looks. It's like super, super zoomed out, which is, and like, it gives him all info, like... I cannot understand this. It's so sophisticated. CD flash. It's so sophisticated. How can you play like this even? Summoners, CDs, what they level. Let's see, what, what was this? 
Like, I can't tell what the fuck is even going on. Do you guys think that this is even helpful to see everyone's individual? I mean, it is helpful, but like, it's visual cancer. Wow, he's dog shit. <laughs> wow, he's dog shit. The beating someone who's cheating their ass off. Like, look at. Oh. Bro has weak auras on? Yeah. Anyways, let's go back to solo queuing. The no fog of war is the most OP part. Is it no fog of war for real? I think there is fog of war. I think there is. I think there is fog of war. It's just that the game, the, like the, the script is telling him where people were last seen. And it's even saying like down here, it's saying like where this guy was. What the fuck? Is this like jungle tracker blue side raptors? Oh my god. It's like fascinating to watch. It really is. Dude, what is this on the top left? What is this? Aurora orb settings. Hold position radius, extra windup time, farming, extra delay. Kiri's recall kit. Target anti AFK humanizer. What is a humanizer? Mode, combo, last hit, lane clear, harass, freeze, support, and flee. Dude, what is this? Visuals, so, so visuals, target selector, aurora orb, evade, lord's pred, marksman utility. This is like fascinating stuff. I okay. Here's actually what I think, though. I, I maybe I think that if I downloaded this cheat right now and I started playing with it in Challenger, I think I would maybe play worse. I think I might play worse. Obviously, I would play better in in certain team fights and all-ins where it's I'm unhittable with skill shots. It would just like dodge for me and I would never get hit. But it's just like it's like too weird. It's just too much. I mean, how can you play like this? Look at look at his screen, bro. What what the fuck is going on? What can anyone what is this champion? This there's a champion right here. Right here in the middle. There's a champion. I think there might be two champions. Who are they? I can't tell. Literally. I cannot tell you who they are. Okay, it's a Nautilus and a Tristana. Okay, I could I literally couldn't see. <laughs> I, it's fucking impossible. It looks like my last team fight in the Kaisen game. Yeah, it does. It really does. It, it's it's actually fascinating. He cheats and he still dies. That's actually a great thing about League. You can outplay people with just your brain. You don't need crazy mechanics. Not necessary. Do you guys play any other PvP games other than League? Chat? I play Val, and I don't really play anything else, PvP-wise. CS, Rocket League, RuneScape, um, Smash Bros, Age of Empires, Tarkov, Apex. I feel like most of these games... are kind of fucked right like escape from like tarkov has hella cheaters i guess apex does overwatch i don't know if Opa overwatch does haven't heard anything good or bad about it wow and val tekken and street fighter mm. Hard to.
do the majority of people who play Apex, um, do the majority of people who play Apex play on Steam? Or do, do the majority of people who play Apex play on like console? Apex Legends player base, um, I guess like console versus Steam. Fuck. Uh, player base. Platform. Oh, platform. Where is it? It's not leaderboards, is it? Hmm. All platforms? Shit. Eh. Seems kind of hard to find. Distribution? You went by it three times? Apex Legends platform stats. Wait, where? Where is it? I don't think it's here. And I don't think there's 25 million players. That might be a cap. Oh, I'm tall. What? <laughs> that is cap, boys. <laughs> no, sorry. Okay. All right, guys. It looks like I'm playing vein top. <laughs> what do I want to not play against? I don't know. Skarner? Not Skarner, guys. I think, okay, like, I actually... I actually play two top leaders to a reasonable level right now. I think. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. TF? TF top? I think I can play him. TF top. I've been playing a decent amount of TF ADC. TF top is meta, right? Zeus played it. And maybe Vayne. But I think TF is more useful than Vayne. Like, wouldn't you guys rather have a TF than a Vayne on your team? Lock in versus Rengar top. Woo! My Jax might go hard. Might, might. They do have a Rengar. They do have a Rengar. I know. Oh, shit. They have a Camille as well. Oh, my God. 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 I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I am sweating. I am sweating right now. I'm, I'm, I'm low-key shitting my pants. I'm low-key shitting my pants. I need to change. I need to change. I need to change. There's a little bit of poopy in there. Yo, guys, um, the Draven's name is pretty funny. <laughs> the fake would walk. 
Yo, the, the Draven's name is actually kind of funny. 2G to IQ, that's a good one. Scrub noob. Easy. Easy game, boys. <laughs> Goes to land angle, maybe. Does it change that much, guys? Is it really going to change that much? Yeah, yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. So, how much move speed did I just get? I got like. I don't think it changed anything. I don't think it changed anything. Oh shit. ICS is horrible. I'm gonna die solo. I'm gonna die solo. I feel it.
I might solo kill myself actually. too good we're just too clean like that should I go bot and kill Couldn't make anything good happen, sadly. Wait, I missed that? Avengers showed up. Not bad. He misses a lot here. Fuck, he's level 8? Do you have TP? Pretty low. Uh, he just W'd the wrong direction.
please, Ari. Ari, please do something. Please do something, Ari. Oh my god, you're... No. No. No, Ari, no. There's no way that just happened. Ari, it, Ari just shit herself straight up. Oh my god, that's so depressing. I mean, this game is not on me, guys. Tried, tried. Oh, I fucking opened my lane up though so hard. Just to kill the Draven. Hopefully it pays off that uh, Zeri got something there. Oh, Fizz is just taking the game over, unfortunately. Can't lane, can't lane versus Camille anymore. Yeah, it's uh, it's too much now. He'll be like two levels ahead of me. Classic 90, uh, 97 CS at uh, 15. Nice. 
I'm doing stuff every time I ult at least. Getting my team kills. We supposed to dive there. How come our Ari is just like never moving to the fights? seen a mid gap this hard in a while like it's humongous Minus wanting me? Grrr. Ragey. Ah, uh, this guy's this guy's good. I should probably just fucking keep porting. Keep trying to kill people. My both solo is coming bot for some reason. It's the perfect time for me to go. Go, 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 go! This is gonna touch the bot wave. Okay, he's not, he's not. Oh, he is, he is. He is. This could be something. Ah, uh, never mind. He's, he just one shot the wave and now he's on the move. Okay, guys. I mean, if Fizz wants to kill me, you can kill me. Cool with that. Guys, I spam ping back. I spam ping this. Okay. Wow. We're that good. I did, uh, did, I did my job. What can I say? I gold guarded Fizz. Who got the 1k? Zeri did. Oh, we're fucking back, maybe. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. That was weird. That was weird. Say it ain't so, brothers. Say it ain't so. Wait for me.
That was fucking awkward. Not bad though. Up infernal soul or uh, ocean soul. Yeah. I made fun of someone for doing that, letting the card time out, and then I did it myself. Sad they got every Drake. Ah, oh, they're gonna get this now. Oh no, he has a Merc, bro. Can't do it. It's like actually so fucking hard to win. Honestly, I thought it did well for being filled. Somehow, enemy mid took the game over and they got every Drake? It's just so weird. How are they getting every Drake when they have Rengar? I guess our mid is just, is just getting fucked. Okay, they get Drake here. Yeah. First Drake at 630. Then I get Dove. Then I kill Camille after getting Dove. And my game's going decently. And then they send the Avengers top here again. It's like the second time, you know. But I don't even think this situation is like that bad. Because I traded one for one there. I traded one for one and Camille's at like legit one HP. So Camille's at one HP with no flash and Ari, let me see, where is our Ari? What is our Ari doing? Our Ari is catching the wave and going the extreme pussy path to the to the play. Okay, now we see him. He's taking the blast cone over. Like I'm dead. But if Skarner just doesn't ult the fizz with E, 
then it's kill. But like also if Ari just doesn't shit herself here, it's a kill. Oh my god. That was disgusting. That was disgusting. I go bot. Like I could just go back to my lane. But I just decide, fuck it. We're not going to win because I'm getting ahead. We have to like make a play. If we had just gotten out after this kill, it would have been all good. I think this play was was, was good. Because because we're like 4v1 right now. So if we just if we just get out, just get out, run, 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 down through the lane, down through the lane, down through the lane, run, run, run. But we just we just ego. We just run into their jungle. And then we and we get cleaned up and then it's fucked. I think there if we if we killed Draven and made him miss that much, maybe it's like winnable or something. I don't know. I'm not like playing amazing or anything, but I think I was like pretty useful. I ended up making a lot of plays on bot side. Okay, here this is this is where I kind of griefed it. I locked a gold card in and then I just instantly die from this position, which doesn't seem right, but like I'm dead? Seriously, I'm dead here? That's, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Next time, I think I'll port like right here. Port right here. Oh, God, he queued through me as well. The way that I, the way that I gold carded him. Oh, oh, I could have dodged this with ghost. I could have, I could have dodged down and survived probably. Oh shit. Here I died. Right before Drake. Fucked. Oh my god, the damage. My TF is not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. You're missing the Q content. You know what? Let's go to leaks up. Just chilling anyways. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What's going on today? Thousand HP? That's like Gore Drinker. Seriously? Seriously? Lame. 
So let's see here. Ravenous supplies at 150% potency, 26% W max rank. So Ravenous Endurance go to 42. So 63% life steal and has 100% AD ratio. So Leeson will heal for 63% of his AD per target. Leeson has 238 AD, hits nine targets. So it ends up being 1300 HP. Life steal is based on post mitigation damage. So the actual number is a bit less. I'll leave it up to Redditors and Balancing to decide if a level 11 Leeson with Ravenous, Dorn's Blade, Tunneler, and two Longswords should be able to instantly spawn a second health bar by using Ravenous in the middle of a wave. This guy wrote it down like a fucking college essay, dude. Oh no, thank you, baby. No, it's, it's, it's still it's still a little bit warm. I, I'm okay. Thank you, baby. Um. Okay. I mean, with Ali, I'm thinking Twistana. Be good. But I don't really know for sure, for sure. Ah, fuck it. Once a bandle gunner, always a bandle gunner. Fuck it. Draven Nami, holy chills. AP. Yeah, but it, but TF can go AP. Yes, baby. Yeah, we are. There's some stuff in this game to cleanse. I feel like if I don't go cleanse, I'm gonna I'm gonna regret it. Because of, like Vex. Okay, and they have exhaust on Draven. Yo, can anyone check the OPGG of the Ari from the last game? Is it, does that guy actually play mid? Or Ari? Oh, it's the Camille from last game? Versus Dun Cassio? Dun Dun Dun. Wait, that was a pun on accident. Here. 
That Ari's first game in two seasons. Braum top main. God, I'm gonna lose it, bro. On. You can go W level one and W Draven. Listen to me at all. Told them to W the Draven when we trade. Didn't want to do it. God, the wave is so bad for us. We we we, we overcommitted too much. Going in there, flash. Oh, 
Fuck. Our jungler, guys, if you were playing jungle this game, would you actually look bomb against the Draven who got the yep four minutes? Definitely not with this alley in the game. Uh, this, has, this has nothing to do with our jungler. Our jungler should avoid playing around bot at all costs. The only thing it will do by coming bot is allowing their bot lane to waste our jungler's time to kill.
Raven didn't base? Being weird. Raven didn't base there. He still didn't base. Okay. Chance though to flip a 1v1 like that. Is probably theirs. There's no flash and no exhaust for like 10. Wait, we got a Drake? When did that happen? Did we get the first one?
Don't kill. Focus on objectives. Raven just like stepped up and egoed on us twice. Now I'm fucking back. I'm so back. Somehow back in the game, guys. Uh, I shouldn't have tanked her. That's my fault. I don't think we're gonna die if we send with the kick, anyways. But still played it bad, even though. with our lives and I would say the game is too loud compared to the mic wait really shit like even now seriously okay I randomly fixed it I think it was just my mic was um, too far away from my face Yesterday I was like fucking watching back my Jinx game, I was saying this early on stream, and I realized my mic is- I can't even hear the shit I'm saying on stream, and no one in chat is telling me that my mic is fucked. I'm like looking through the chat, I'm like, am I, am I going crazy? Like, am I just losing my hearing because of old age? But, no, I actually just am like really quiet yesterday, and I was, I was talking a lot, but you could barely tell I'm like fucking whispering. Nice. Let's get Baron. Let's get Baron. I, I melt this thing. I melt it. I melt it. Come on. This is one of those champs. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, I failed the raid mechanic. Jesus.
want to go back to mid. Vagar is not bal- Vagar is- Bro, Vagar is dropping dick on him. What? This guy does like fucking 2k damage every CC. GG, GG. That is a- that, that is a big boy. Man. I'm surprised I was even allowed to play the game. Uh, when I got bubbled though and I saw Lee Sin was taking his Q, I should have just cleansed Flash instantly. What a game, what a game. That's actually such a like normal situation. You just one bot lane is just completely over. It's completely boomed. But, um, better bot lane does not win. Better mid jungle wins. Like, I was fucking done for. My days were numbered. But our mid jungle was too good. Top? Um, I think both top hunters are kind of useless, bro. You're the Camille? Let's see. Yeah, both top hunters are kind of useless, no joke. I mean, like, you had 10 KP, it's pretty good. Way better than me, of course, but... Um, top lane, just useless roll. Sorry. That's how it goes. Like, that matchup is uh, looking miserable. You're down like 40 CS, which just, that's what happens when Emmy picks Casio against Camille, but, um, we just all hide behind Vagar, and he gets it done. Remove my roll. <laughs> yeah. Bjergsen's probably chilling on a beach enjoying his millions. know if he's a beach goer i know i know like soren is really into just like experiencing life outside of being online i think like i had inklings of it as well when i was his teammate and there were times where he like on his off day he just like did not want to he didn't want to spend his off day like on the pc and i think that's where like there's a pretty big divergence between pro players like um, on my off day I like to do a variety of stuff you know I like to hang out with Lena I like to go outside but most of the time you know not even just some of the time but most most of the time I, I want to play games like I just love playing games I love trying new games I love playing um, you know Valorant with my friends I love playing Path of Exile with Lena um i just like i just like it i'm just i just enjoy the experience of it and uh for soren and i think for a lot of people who spent their teens glued to the pc 
they don't feel good when they do that. You know, they feel way better when they step away from the internet and step away from their computer and they go and socialize or go for a run or um, go to an event with people and get to know new people or get to know the people they are close with even more. And I think that's the boat that Soren seems to be in because he's into a bunch of, um, you know, non-degenerate activities. I would say like I mean, maybe even human activities. He's into like self-improvement, meditation, mindfulness, which is a lot of sort of similar stuff. But um, I think he's like into that type of activity. I've been sitting behind the PC for 16 years straight. I've yet to get bored. I mean, yeah, some people are going to be like me and some people are going to be like him. And I've come to kind of more appreciate because like for a long time, I didn't really understand. Didn't really understand Soren that much. But I would say like on the spectrum, good word to use for this on the spectrum, I'm like a 8.5 out of 10. I'm not so degenerate that I'm like a 10 out of 10 degenerate where I don't go outside at all. But I do it occasionally and I need a balance for sure. But I definitely skew really heavily towards being a degen. Hi, baby. Sneaky? Yeah, sneaky seems like a 10 or like a 9.5. Asmund Gold might be a 10. DGens rejoice. I don't know. I don't know that much about Medios. Medios seems to spend a lot of time playing like WoW and games and stuff. That's he. He might be in the same boat as me. Siver. Sibberber. Smeowder. I bring the heat. The heat. The heat sounds like defeat. What about lamination and balls used in interview as a reference? Dude, that's actually one thing I hate about like just being a pseudo celebrity, like being like a online personality is like the camera's in your face 24 seven and then your worst moments and most embarrassing moments are always just forever gonna be online. Like the officer Caitlin thing for me and like for like Sneaky and media, or sorry, not sneaky and media, it was Balls Elimination, that interview. And it's like, you're just like defined a lot of the time for some people by like your worst and most embarrassing moments. And it's just like, it's just annoying. Like my poopy pants. I think Balls and Lemon are probably like. Pleasant, well-adjusted, and happy people. Great people. Can't really learn anything about someone from watching a one-minute clip of them out of the fucking years of their lives. A rating for Bjergsen Degeneracy? Um, I'd say he's like very close to being like a one or a two. I feel like he doesn't, he doesn't like play games at all. And I don't really think he's into, so he doesn't really even like seem to use social media. I asked him if he watches Twitch or YouTube and he's like, not really. No, like he definitely doesn't watch Twitch. He might watch YouTube at night, you know, just like a lot of people browsing their phone. There's nothing to do, but I would say like on, on in terms of like unpluggedness, uh, Soren is really unplugged from the world that we are in right now. And like, sometimes I feel like it's a bit of a shame because he's, he's like, he's got such a big footprint for a lot of people. He's, he's their hero and he's like somebody who's really important to them. So I think it's kind of a shame because like, I think a lot of you guys and even me as his friend, I would like him to be like more overlapping in my circle, right? Because. I respect him a lot and I wish that he was like a closer part of like the stuff that I do on a daily basis because 
he's a great guy. He's funny, smart. Somebody that people can look up to because he's a good person. Um, he's a role model. So it's a shame, but um, I came to realize like it makes him happy. So, you know, I can feel that way, but I'm not going to like be asking like, yo, when are you coming back, bro? Because it's probably like straight up, it's just like better for him to live that life. Get into his book club. Like, dude, he's in a book club. That's another. That's like another um, marker for his life. I feel like that's going to happen a lot. Uh, I was never into PewDiePie, but it seems like uh, for, for some people, PewDiePie was kind of like that, right? Where he was a big part of people's lives. He's the biggest YouTuber. And then he just like, he didn't really like completely walk away from it. But I feel like he, um, he mostly walked away from it. I was literally, I never watched his stuff. I'm not like trying to be a hipster about it or anything, but I just never watched his stuff. He's 100% focused on family and IRL and not YouTube views anymore. The memes and culture stuff, it's all done with them now. He hated being number one on YouTube. That's kind of how it goes. I feel like the bigger you are, the more negativity uh, is in your life, you know? But I also think like uh, for a lot of people, the, it, it's hard for them to deal with the fall off. So, you know, I've had to deal with it too. I used to get like 300K views on YouTube when I would just fucking shit my pants on a camera. Um, I used to open my stream up, start playing solo queue, 20K viewers, easy back in like CLG, TSM peak, TSM days, Team Liquid day, like, you know, it got, it got like worse, but like everyone has to deal with, you know, you have like peaks and valleys of like being an influencer or whatever. And um, at one point you'll be at your peak and then you'll fall off. That's just how it goes. Um, you're not gonna like spiral. Like I'm, I'm never gonna like spiral down to like probably 1K viewers unless I shit my pants for real, like actually just like start saying racist stuff on stream. But um, you have to deal with it, I guess. And I think for some people they deal with it like really unhealthily and they they cling on to their view count and they, they care so much about that stuff. And um, they don't appreciate what they have at all. You know, sometimes I, I literally have to remind myself, I'm like, oh shit, like when I stream, um, you know, thousands of people are watching me. It's, it's, it's really insane. You know, it's really insane. You can definitely see a glass half full and be like, dude, I used to get, I used to get 15 K views just, just playing solo queue. And I would, I would often not even talk. I would literally just open my stream up. I would barely talk and my chat would be off. And that was how I streamed. Like it was like the worst stream ever. Um, and it would be, but, but I don't know. It still, it still blows my mind that people like fucking, I turn my stream on people want to watch. Pants not ruined his career. I don't know. I think some people ruin it for themselves, but I also think some people get like really caught up in the wrong stuff. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was a late ass flash. Okay, let's go bot. The not IGN is sad. Two inch punisher. <laughs> Hashtag two, 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 two. Nice. Nice.
Nice, I got Guardian like that. He's gonna TP. Okay, that was kind of weird. You know, and like, I didn't really like it, but it is what it is. That was kind of weird. I didn't touch the next wave because I want, I didn't know if I could full push it or not. I think it was right that I based. Oh, actually, look at my wave now. I think it was right. It kind of made me feel awkward that I killed that one melee. So it was six minions versus five. I thought it might freeze there a little bit. Oh my god, I get to catch like 90% of the wave now. He misses the cannon, bro. That's depressing for him. Oh man, this is completely depressing for their bot lane. This is kind of what mages suck at, is uh, dealing with pressure early. AD carries are way stronger at level one than mages are. since showing Can you kill him? No, probably not. Oh. Uh, I could have flashed out, <clears throat> but Rakan flashed for a kill. I don't really care that much dying like that. Rakan gets it. Imagine he hit the tower. I was actually really scared that would happen. Yeah, that would have sucked. Wait, what? Our mid's getting fucking railed.
can't fight. I'm in a horrible position to fight. One creep off of six. I couldn't tell who who's low in this fight. This guy has flash now. God, he autoed a minion. Wow. that burger. Such a crazy game. There's so much fighting everywhere. I can die to Rakan here. Gonna have to try to outplay. I'm not gonna give this for nothing. I think the best play of this game is push bot, because I'm really ahead. Get deep words, so we can't get caught. And we have map hack, we can see their jungler, we should just play off of that. We're skipping a lot of like, vision play. Oh. oh 
my god, this Fari. Fuck. I didn't get Blasco now in the beginning. One. If we stopped fighting for one second, we would, we would get so much. Now my lead is not significant at all though. Could be face checking Ari here. Nope. Nice. 2200 gold. So I need to farm 1k and then I'm at two items. I'm online. Oh my gosh. Ward kills are nice, 60 gold right there. Or was it 25 each now? I'm not basing until I have my item. I don't care what happens. Oh my god, what? Why did... What? Why did that not work? Why, why did why did that combo not work? And catch. Oh my god, please, please, please. Let him live. He's gonna execute now. This, this Master Yi cannot be trolling harder.
Can't get sucked in. Guess what happens? We get sucked in and die. Ah. Oh. Nautilus is just doing crazy things. Just slow down a bit. We're not gonna win getting roped in a river and then fucking Garen flanks into no flash ADC. Get this low. Down. We need to push out. Like, flank. No more space before fighting. Touch this next wave, it's too dangerous. Trying to get there, but it looks pretty fucked up. Wait, what? Got an assist somehow. Master Yi is landing versus Garen right now. They can look at Baron, but their damage is kind of shit for it. God damn it, I spam ping back, guys. I spam ping back. Wait, I had traps for you there. Flash. Uh, but like, I'm buying Last of Spear and Spam Ping not to fight, and then they fight. Ah, fuck it, just FF. It's a 
just like so troll that happens. I just needed literally five seconds to base and come back off on the map and we can fight. Doesn't do damage. I ping back ten times, and you got and you fight. <laughs> Every single time I needed the base, they just fight. I need to watch the replay. I need to watch the replay. That was just so reportable. Like, what the fuck was that? Okay. Spam ping, don't fight. Don't fight. I mean, Lux hit the ward from the bush. So they get full vision of everyone in the bush. If he steps out of the bush and then flickers, like he flickers out, kills the ward, and then he flickers back in, they don't see three people there. Look, look at this. Look at this. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's 4v4. Yaren's not even here. I mean, I think they're just better than us and we're not paying attention to Ari having Seekers. Because they're, th they're 3 v 4 us here. Whatever. You use impossible to play against that team. Uh, yeah, Master is not great of a champ, but. He's even worse when we're behind. Score 
Dude, the score today is like we're in the dumps, I think. We are da, 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 da. one, two, three, four. We're three and four. It's actually not that bad. At Double F, why did you stop streaming on Twitch? Yeah, I don't know why I stopped streaming on Twitch. I guess I just hate Twitch. Um, damn. Ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna have to start playing more aggressive camps than Jinx, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to give up on playing Jinx. I think she's pretty strong. I'm gonna have to look at it again. If I was playing like a different champ, would uh, would anything have changed? Oh, this is a replay. I do differently here. Ghost. I think I need a. I just need to flash out. Like after I get this first kill, I just need to run. Yeah. If I, I think if I, if I lived here, it would have been a slam dunk, right? Like here, if I, if I just live from this position, which I can probably like easily live, and then I just get the wave in, it seems like a slam dunk. Actually, wait. I mean, the wave did end up getting pushed in the whole way anyways. So what happened? Oh, I didn't flash the RE uh, charm flash here. Oh my God. That was rough. happens here oh, I just got hit by a charm I think I, I can't be up against the wall what happened to my what happened when I got blast cone in the very beginning already hit the cone and kicked me out oh god Ari didn't hit the cone Lux did fuck that's that's fucked because if, if I don't get kicked out of this fight, I think I get a reset and we just kill them all. I was wondering who hit the cone. Lux hit the cone. She's clicking back. That's why. She's, click, she's clicking away from the fight, trying to kite, and she accidentally clicks on the cone and autos it. Because if I get reset on Rakan, I think we can win. It definitely looks like a winnable fight. That's unlucky. I got Yungle. I got Yungle. 
I gotta think about what I'm gonna play here. I'm kind of nasty with like, uh, you know, I'm kind of a Swiss army knife in the jungle. Like I can really do it all, but. What do I hate playing against when I'm jungling? I think I gotta ban Rengar. No, I'm not gonna play Rengar. That jump is too hard. You can go for it. Um, let me see. Let me let me see their champs. Let me see their champs. Ah, oh, fucking bastards. I'm queuing 80 carry in mid and I'm getting jungle and support. That's okay, that's okay. Somebody's asking about shadows. Um I think you probably should turn shadows off. The less like visual clutter there is in the game, the better. Raven's not that big of a problem, right? Raven's not that big of a problem. No, sir. What's been a problem for me? Having Lux in the game has been a problem for me. I think the perfect game to to show like why shadows should be like perma off is this Kaisa game. Wait, where is it? The last team fight of this Kaisa game. If you were if you were here for this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Can't okay. I'm playing support then. Like, watch this team fight and tell me you understand what's happening. Did you notice? Did you notice that Varus ulti was blooming and hitting me at the edge? It's just like crazy that I got rooted out of nowhere there. I don't know, bro. Fucking circles on everyone. And I got Varus rooted. So hard to tell. Hex flash and cookies. Hex flash and cookies or hex flash and cosmic? I think hex flash and cookies. Cookie crisp. Sounds good. Double fucking damage runes. Let's go. Big damage. Font of life. Bone plating, probably, yeah. Gain armor and MR when crowd controlled. Or, wait, is this strong? What's better, overgrowth or unflinching? Gain 2 to 10 armor and MR when CC'd and for 2 seconds after. Hmm. Cosmic over cookies. Okay. I mean, at this point, I should just do this then. Straight up. Like, I feel like you cookies are non-negotiable. They are non-negotiable.
Ooh, it's Zven and this Pike player. Someday on his weird glitched account. And speak a jungle? Oh, speak a jungling for me? Okay. We need to pop off. We need to pop off. I think I just showed on the turret. Straight up, I just showed on the turret. Andrew Barton. <clears throat> I think this is inspired. We got inspired Spiga. Oh, wow. I got hit by that. Seriously. Secure the push. Zeri can be deceptive in how good she is at securing two. This guy's choking a bunch of CS. He's minus five, by the way. In the first two waves, he's minus five. My dear lord, I'm sorry. That was free. That was free. I should have ignited him. Fuck.
Rush Circus. I'll probably go bot. Nothing really to do mid right now. Put my pink board down though. Oh my god. His movement is too good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go. I'm sorry that you got dove. I can't believe they can actually dive you from full like that. Oh, what? Wait, I didn't think I was gonna die. I had potions and everything, holy fuck. That did way more damage than I thought it would. This guy's movement is crazy. He did it blind. No vision. Okay, now you're dead. Now you're actually dead. That was too crazy. That was too crazy. Shut down to give Trist, but
I gotta go bot and help. I was coaching Lena. Um, she quit league. She started playing Valorant instead. Can't blame her. Better game. Help you. base and get my thing. Leeching some extras, leeching some gold here. Then you are a naughty boy. That's what you are. You know, we can back, we can back. I have zero mana. Sometimes I'm not sure if I should go Knight's Vow. Games like this, they have Pike, so it's like, ooh, Knight's Vow is good, Locket's kind of worse against Pike. We're like five squishies. I think when you have five squishy champs, Locket is insane. He's giving someone who's super squishy 300 HP more is like pretty OP. Oh shit, what the fuck? Those are zoning hooks. I am zoning the shit out of these guys. I can't even breathe. Least useless splits player. Okay, I'm gonna base. My job here is done, am I right guys? Just another easy day on the job. Um, Knight's Vow. Mission accomplished, holy fuck. I think I need a medal for that. My <laughs> back is broken. I mean, I, I, I hit a good one on Zeri earlier. Honestly, if you play Blitz and you just hit a few good game-changing hooks, it's all that matters. Nice. 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 Faded. Faded. Morons. I knew that would happen. Oh. Oh, baited again. 
Me and Someday. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Like, fucking LCS players are just too smart and, and just too good and handsome. Oh, shit. I was too busy looking at the fight. I didn't buy my items. Jesus Christ. We are hot right now. Wait a sec, Astro Boy. Astro Boy Boy. Cool. Don't worry, guys. I won't let that farm go to waste. I think when we locked in Blitz support, what we wanted him to do, secretly, we wanted him to catch side lanes. We wanted, we wanted to make sure none of that farm, none of that yummy yummy farm went to waste. The Blitz crank is, he excels at that kind of play. Fuck you. Oh fuck, somebody just ate the fruity tooties over here. Holy. This one and eight pike is just flexing. You can't, you can't keep getting away with it. You just can't. Like, I will punish you. I think I'm gonna base. Uh, I'm gonna actually get this thing first. Oh, don't die. Let me go down here. Plus 150. Plus 150. <clears throat> My job here is done once again. Jesus Christ. What a performance. I'm running around getting every last hit. What what a what a what a support gap this game has been. Jesus. Our jungler carried. Unbelievable. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Dude, is this guy signed? Is this Blitzcrank? Is he is he free agent? Get get Andrew Barton, get Papa Smithy, get Dodo on the phone right now. Right this second. This is just this is too much. This is too much. I think we just found NA's new superstar. It's this Blitz player over here. <sighs> Am I watching Waldom? I know it's hard to believe, but no. That was actually a live broadcast. That was not just a montage. Just hitting game winner after game winner. Okay. Guys, we're 4 4 today, but. Um, that's that, that might be this might be the third day in a row that I'm 4-4. Four, four. Bro had a gift card as a teammate. <laughs> I think um <laughs> yeah, actually. It's the first time I've heard that. <laughs> Honor my gift card teammate though. Make all NA1. Whew. That's done off Victor. That's classic done off of Victor. He cannot win against me. I'm so scared of Zen, so I'm logging off, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go hit the gym. I I couldn't go this morning because Lena had a meeting, so we have to do everything together. That's what an Asian couple does. 
inseparable. I'm not allowed to go to the gym solo. I'll be killed. Anyways. Was fun, guys. I'll see you guys all tomorrow for the same thing. Check out, uh, you know, check out my YouTube if you want to see our latest banger. It's me coaching Lena. We did it a few weeks ago. Being generous with the timeline here. It's a good one. It's a good one. For content, join a random clash team. I mean, how, how do I how do I look at the team? View team. There's only one guy here. Only one person. Debole lift. So it's like somebody tried to type my name, but like he had a stroke. I need I need to get a I need to get an invite from like a real team that's like you know that's looking for one more. That's actually pretty good content. I'm not gonna lie. I I'll. I'm not opposed to joining a random clash team. That would actually be really funny. This guy, I have to, I have to say no, unfortunately. There's literally only one person on the team, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see, guys. We can make it happen. All right. Uh, that's it for me. I'm going to go hit the gym. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening. It has been uh, my pleasure. I'll be here again tomorrow. Nighty night, everyone. Finally ending it on a dub. Two days in a row, we ended on a fat loss. And I was like, yeah, I'm not waking up tomorrow. But today, today is a new day. <laughs>